guys, my name is Derek, glad you're here, and I kind of wanted to touch a little bit on something um, that may have scared you guys away. Um, there for a while I was doing Pokemon unboxings, where I was unboxing Pokemon cards, and, you know, I was doing that a lot, and they ended up spending tons of money on chasing, you know, another fad, which I'm not saying Pokemon's a fad, because I still, I still collect Pokemon uh cards I, I don't buy packs anymore i i just buy the singles well there's a reason why i haven't been doing any unboxings one it's it's expensive it is but you know buying singles is still pretty expensive um two the community is kind of say toxic a little bit um, I, I kind of noticed that, you know, just with any type of hobby, you have the detractors where, you know, you have some toxic people, um, you know, if you do something wrong, they tear you apart, um, and they compare you to other, you know, YouTubers, which that's normal. If you're coming to the channel, it's like, what does this fat neck beard have to offer compared to what I'm watching on Real Breaking Nate? I don't have the charisma of real breaking Nate or uh, Leon Hart, and I'm just a regular dude. You know, the thing about YouTube is you chase trends. Um, you know, you see people like, hey, this is really popular. So you take your stab at what's really popular. And you may have noticed that, you know, a lot of my stuff has been trends. Um, and I, you know, I can honestly say that my switch to, you know, a more spicier stuff is still considered as trend. Um, I mean, I, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at anything, really. Um, I have fun when I do. I, I just ultimately what I want to do is make YouTube videos. Um, I've been doing this for 10 years. And, you know, just recently... I've had a few videos blow up. Well, for my size of a channel, they've blown up. And, you know, <laughs> some of the stuff I've seen on it was these comments. They're great. The great, great comments. I'm being sarcastic there. But I'm realizing that you can't just follow a trend. You have to do more than just that. You have to push higher than what other people are doing. Make yourself your own person. And that's kind of why I stopped doing Pokemon cards. It's because, you know, a lot of people that watch Pokemon videos, like unboxing, you know, the creators, really happy. They, they put on a show. Um, good example of it, Leon Hart and Real Breaking Nate. Nothing against these, against these creators. Nothing wrong with that. Um... But I, I, I guess I don't fit that. I don't fit that at all. At all. Yeah. You know, I tried. And, you know, you could tell that I was forcing things. Instead of trying to be myself, you know, I myself was like, hey, I need to be, you know, super energetic while opening up these cards. And I just can't do it anymore. Like, I, I can't do it you know i'm old enough and i'm not saying pokemon is bad because again i collect pokemon cards still and i still play the games and i know a lot of you people are like you went from talking about the leech laws to pokemon yeah that's kind of how things are you know i'm a nerd i'm a big nerd which goes to remind me i actually read a comment last night that was hilarious the guy basically wanted me to schedule a fight with uh, <laughs> Chili DeCastro for, like, put in a cage or an arena. I was like, okay. And then he was like, we'll see what fluids will come out of you first and the s stay in the hospital, how long that's going to be. Dude, I, you know, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not fighting anybody. I'm not, I'm not a fucking pussy. Because you have a different opinion of me, so how you react is you react with violence. Off topic. <laughs> it just kind of pissed me off a little bit. 
Um, but I, I, I've been seeing some good ones, though. Bit Sims are great. I, I almost want to do a video covering all these great comments. They, they've been they've been interesting. I, I, I'll tell you why. They've been great. Um, some are just priceless. And, you know, I think we should do a video for that. Matter of fact, we probably will. Probably do a video of that. But what I'm trying to say is I can't be the super energetic person. You know, a lot of people know me. They know I have problems, mental issues. A lot of people know that. You know, I heard there's a quote. I'm thinking it's from Confucius, maybe. The happiest people are the loneliest. And if I'm wrong on that, let me know. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, I can't be fake anymore. I just can't do that. I want to be myself. I don't want to be like everyone else, you know? And I think that's important going forward is just being myself. And if you like me, you like me. If you don't like me, you don't like me. You don't have to watch my content. You never have to. And I hate to say that because that backfires a lot on people and companies like Battlefield, for instance. If you don't like this game, don't play it. Guess what? Nobody played it. Um, but I'm not saying that. I, of course, you know, I my goal is to make you guys happy. Um, but I can only do so much to really stand out. Um, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years off and on. And, you know, you know, some of the commenters was like, hey, you've been doing this for 10 years and you only have 400 some subscribers. I don't really care. There for the longest time, I did care. It's like, oh, the fucking number's not going up. Oh, it's going down. Oh, fuck me. And I can't really do that anymore. I, I don't want to be stressed out about my channel. I don't want to do that. I want, The main reason I'm doing this is because I have fun doing it. It's kind of therapeutic to talk about things. You know, I don't have a counselor right now. I don't. I did, but I don't now. But I've been trying to do more and more videos. I actually purchased some things a while back for live streaming again. And that's something I, I want to get back into. I really like live streaming. Um, my big thing right now is trying to find the time to do this. Even if we stream two to three days a week, a um, couple hours here and there, I think that would be fine. They, you know, we'll just see how long it lasts. Um, which, what do you guys think on it? You think I just start streaming again? Should I do that? Um, should I, or should I continue being a shield? <laughs> but again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe. And I do want to appreciate and say thank you to all the new subscribers that we've got through the last couple of weeks. It's been an interesting couple of weeks. Stepped out of my comfort zone quite a few times with this whole chili thing in my hometown. And, you know, it's been fun. Will I do more Chili De Castro Delete Laws videos? I don't know. Maybe. Just depends what you guys want. If you guys want to see more content like that, let me know. And I'll be happily able to oblige. I, I would do that for you guys. If that's what you really want. You know, I'm not, uh, you know, I, again, this is for you guys, not for me. Well, part of it is for me because it's helping me out mentally. But anyways, have fun. I'll see you guys soon. And remember, to take things ultra serious, if you want people to get the point across, you pull out one of these finger guns.